Hey YouTube, Roy Marco with Roy Marco's Garage, and today I'm going to work on the C50, but I'll move it and I'll show you why. Anyway, this is what happens when you uh, don't quite finish a job that you should finish and then you use the truck. But anyway, it's fixable. And I've been meaning to fix it, so anyway, we're just going to have to do a little more work, but that's okay. There used to be a piece of wood from the old box that was between the support and the sidewall of the truck floor on this side. And it rotted away, and because the truck is a little bit bouncy, it is now damage the uh, sidewall and it's not supporting because the frame is supposed to go all the way back to these supports here which ties the strength of this box all together and I couldn't tie it to that part because somebody had cut off the frame shorter and as you know I shortened the frame on this truck and what I could have done was move the axle ahead except the way the frame is shaped it gets narrower where the axle is and then hangers wouldn't work so anyway now I have to weld on a uh, section there so what I got here is a couple pieces of steel um, it's got a good profile that sort of matches the chassis and I'm going to extend the frame out the back so I can catch that rear support on the box and to do that I have to plasma cut these uh, make them a C channel and then I also have to cut this I want to make a cross new cross member as well as an extra um, rear frame horn if you will for the back all right so i'm going to get started by removing this mud flap this temporary mud flap mount i got to take the license plate off because when the frame rail come out it's going to hit that i got to take out the back two mounts of this and start figuring out what i'm going to do flat mount. Well, at least the weather's been half decent, uh, although it's not quite ideal to be doing what I wanted to do here. I was hoping I could make it last till spring, but um, got to get this done. All right, another thing I got to do is I want to replace this cross member. Um, this side's okay. But on this side, you can see it's cracked, and also on the top, it's got a break up there. So I want to knock all these hot rivets out except for this one here because that holds the uh, spring hanger, and it doesn't interfere with this. So I'm going to knock all these hot rivets out with the plasma cutter, which will be a bit of a chore. I've got quite a few to do. Knock out this center beam and cut a new one, which uh, that extra material is for. I think that would be better than repairing this one or repair this one with the back end. But we're going to see what happens when I get it out and make that decision. So I'm not going to lie, that took about two hours of work to get all of the, that piece cut out of there. I'll show you the piece I just got over in the garage. So I'm just going to move the truck and sweep up so I'm not laying in slag. Now it's the fun part, fabricating. All the dirty and kind of hard stuff is done. Getting a little darker out, so I have these lights set up here. You can see I got the uh, frame rail, uh, that cross member piece all cut out frame rails cleaned up. Now I just got to take the grinder and I got to clean the, uh, there's some slag here, 
clean up the ends so that they're nice. And then I gotta try and straighten some of this out. This might seem counterintuitive, but what I'm doing here is uh, this frame, you can see this cross member, I had to cut it in half to get it out. But um, what I'm going to do is it was broken off here. You can see there. And this bottom piece was broken. So this side wasn't really holding. And so what I need to do is sort of figure out a measurement from this hole to that hole and the bottom corresponding holes and then transfer to my new piece. So because I cut this in half, I'm going to just give it a couple of tack welds together to hold it in place um, to get my width measurement. And what that allows me to do is when I drill the holes in my new piece that's going to go in, um, I can then align the frame and drop the bolts in so that it can go back together in the right spot. And then I'll do a couple of welds and then that'll be it, just bolted and welded in. I'm not going to be able to do these hot units like that either. Again, this truck isn't holding 18,500 pounds anymore. Uh, it's basically, you know, would do the work of a one ton or less. So, anyway, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to just weld this back together uh, so I can basically duplicate this piece out of this box tubing that I'm going to cut into a, a C channel. The height of this C channel is exactly the same height as this uh, C channel here. All it needs, a few tacks. Right a bit of a straighten. Okay. So now the end is repaired to the point where I can use it as a measurement. Now we just have to put these two pieces back together. There you have it. It's uh, not welded back together to be able to put back in the truck, but it's uh, welded back together to the point I can use it as a template so I can build my new piece. The material that I have is 6 inch by 3 inch with a thick wall, uh, 3 sixteenths wall I want to say.
see the piece I cut off there is not very straight. So the seat challenge is not okay. So what I've done is I laid the other piece of metal on top and I blew all them up with a half inch drill bit, get those holes made, and then I can bolt this thing back in the frame of the truck. Okay, this uh, piece fits pretty tight. I've had to chamfer the corners here so it can go in. And uh, now I gotta use a sledge and try and guide it in place here. Okay, so as you can tell, it's the next day. Uh, I had to go pick up a drill bit, half inch drill bit, to finish drilling these holes, and. Uh, if you make the holes exactly the same size as the bolts, when you make this the, the length it needs to be, which I use reference off the old cross member, when you put in these bolts the frame rails have to be straight. So by using simple tools I'm able to move stuff around, like get stuff spaced where it needs to be and uh, knock things into place, get the bolts in. Now my frame rails are put together, now I can tighten these bolts. of this off so I have two pieces the same length to be able to rear the frame rails on the truck. One of the things I want to note is on even the cross member that I made I cut the side out that has the seam on it because when they roll the metal together they bring it together and seam it. So uh, I have a smooth piece of metal here that will be the C-channel to extend the back of my chassis and um, I'm going to cut the side of the seam out. Okay, just wanted to show you that. So I'll make the other one and then we'll keep going. What I'm doing is I'm just using this piece of aluminum as a guide. It doesn't have to be aluminum, it can be steel, it could even be a piece of wood. Just nothing that's too thick. Something I can guide the edge of the uh, plasma cutter along to make a nice straight cut. So again, I'm just going to double check that I'm cutting out the side with the weld. I lay this on here. I could mark it out, but I can do it by eye. I know I want my cut right near the start of the edge. And we just go ahead and cut it. It really helps if you put your ground on.
got my two seat panels. Clean them up with the grinder. We'll figure out how to get them in the truck. You can see my thought is, is just to clean it up and then kind of overlap it inside the frame rail so you have a nice place to weld and it gives it some strength instead of just butt welding it to the end. Like I said the only thing is I'll have to have that much thickness more for my stanchion to hold the box up and I'll do the same on the other side so I gotta grind this up, clean up the edge just like I did to that side line this up, do some measurements, see if I like it. If I do, I gotta take them out, drill a hole, cause it'd be easier to drill outside the truck for the uh, stanchion there for the box. And then go and tack it, double check my measurements, and then weld it up. It's actually coming along pretty good. Okay, so here we go. Got the uh, pieces welded up, these supports in. I had to add another washer on the top. You'll see where it's shiny here to make up the difference in the metal here. Okay, cross member beam. Now I still have a little more welding to do, but I'm gonna have to put this beside the house, get power from the house. I keep blowing the breaker in the garage. That was a problem I had doing the chassis too, right? So anyway, um, I'm just gonna blow some paint on this so it doesn't rust and I'll finish welding it up. But uh, there it is, extended frame. Now I can put a back bumper on this truck. Turned out really well, I'm quite happy. So now I'm just gonna rehang the mud flaps, hang the plate on it. Okay, so now it's all painted and uh, put back together. All these bolts are tight. Box is nice and solid. go got it all finished up got the uh, license plate attached beams are on they're painted and uh, mud flaps are on and ready to use this thing I got to go haul some stuff here in the next couple of days so the nice uh, tying this in which I wanted to from the beginning but it's nice and solid and I don't get that rattle and stuff like I had before this repair took uh, a couple of days uh, not full days but I probably got about uh, 10, 11 hours into doing all this and so anyway got the uh, frame rails done license plates back on mud flaps are back on now these mud flap mount using a 2x4 that's just temporary so that's another video for another day I got some material I want to see if that'll work um, we also got rid of this cross beam here this cross member and it was all cracked and broken as you can see here earlier on in the video. I welded it back together just to use it as a template. And of course, uh, having to cut it in half to get it out led to a problem where the new one wasn't so easy to get back in, but it was just a matter of cutting an angle on the corners, getting that done. I also forgot to have the mic on for a couple of videos. But anyway, it's all done. And um, this is one job that had to get done and is now finished. So I can move on to some other jobs. So if you like these videos, please subscribe. Hit that uh, bell for notifications and have a great day.